Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. So before we start our devotion this morning, there's a couple little, um, they always have a couple little sayings before the next, in between several devotions, and I love these, so I want to read them to you. The first one is a quote by Joni Erickson Tata, and she says, No other religion, no other, promises new bodies, hearts, and minds. Only in the gospel of Christ do hurting people find such incredible hope. And that is so true. And then the other one is the scripture. It's from Revelations 21, 4 through 5. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Now that's a wonderful promise that we can look forward to. So today... Um, our scripture is talking about loving kindness and mercies. So let's see what Jesus says today. He says, I crown you with loving kindness and tender mercies. You need vast quantities of these blessings, and I delight in providing them for you. Your job is to open your heart fully to me, acknowledging to yourself and to me how needy you are. Many people are afraid to face their neediness because they doubt that anyone could ever provide all they lack. Humanly speaking, this is true. But I have infinite reservoirs of blessings for my children. Moreover, my loving kindness is an eternal gift, for I have loved you with an everlasting love. I am committed to you. All of my children need mercy, compassionate treatment, and you are no exception. I offer you multitude mercies, and I do this tenderly. So come to me when you are feeling weak and vulnerable. Pour out your heart to me and rest in my presence. Remember that you are redeemed royalty, purchased with my own blood. Hold still with dignity and confidence while I crown you with loving kindness and tender mercies. How beautiful is that, and how uplifting and I, it's just, that's incredible. Um, it should give great comfort to us all. But those, um, that devotion comes from these scriptures. The first one is Psalms 103, 1 through 4. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. And then Jeremiah 31, 3. The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with love and kindness, I have drawn you. And then Psalm 62, 8. Trust in him at all times. O oh, people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. And that is so true, my friends. You know, we can pour out our heart every day to God, and he listens. We lack things in our lives because we don't ask for them. And he is merciful, and he is loving, and he died for us. So pour out your heart to him and rest in his peace. And you know, I'm talking to myself just as much as I'm telling you because I need to be reminded of this con constantly. And constantly I speak through the day to my Savior because I mess up so many times during the day. But I just want you to know that he loves you and so do I. God bless you all. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you back soon with Dollar Tree Tuesday. Bye-bye.